हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम इंग्लिश एक्सेल फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टॉप फिफ्टीन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ऑफ थिन लेयर क्रोमाटोग्राफी सो लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज व्हाट इज थिन लेयर क्रोमाटोग्राफी द आंसर इज थिन लेयर क्रोमाटोग्राफी इज ए क्रोमाटोग्राफी टेक्निक परफॉर्म ऑन ए सीट ऑफ ग्लास प्लास्टिक और एल्युमिनियम फॉयल व्हिच इज कोटेड विथ ए थिन लेयर ऑफ एड्सॉर्बेंट मटेरियल यूजुअली सिलिका जेल एल्युमिनियम ऑक्साइड और सेलुलोज टू डिटरमाइन द नंबर ऑफ कंपोनेंट इन ए मिक्सचर वेरीफाई द आइडेंटिफाई एंड प्योरिटी ऑफ ए कंपाउंड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज व्हाट इज द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ थिन लेयर क्रोमाटोग्राफी द आंसर इज टी इज बेस्ड on the principle of separation through adsorption type the separation relies on the relative empathy of compounds towards the mobile phase and stationary phase next is what are the basic steps to perform tlc the answer is number 1 tlc chamber number 2 stationary phase number 3 mobile phase number 4 application of sample number 5 development of tlc plate and number 6 is detection of analyte next is which material is used as a stationary phase in tlc the answer is silica gel and alumina are most commonly used as a stationary phase in thin layer chromatography next is why silica gel is used in thin layer chromatography the answer is the silica gel g for thin layer chromatography as binder is most extensively used as adsorbent in thin layer chromatography because of its excellent separation properties next is what is the use of tlc chamber the answer is tlc chamber is used for the deployment of the tlc plate the chamber maintains a stable environment inside for proper deployment of spots it also prevent the evaporation of solvent and keeps the process dust free next is how to prepare tlc plate the answer is tlc plates preferably ready made with a stationary phase these are stable and chemically inert plates where a thin layer of stationary phase is applied on its whole surface layer the stationary phase on the plate is of uniform thickness and is in fine particle size next is how to apply sample on tlc plate the answer is a thin mark is made at the bottom of the plate with a pencil to apply the sample spots then sample solution are applied to the spot marked on the line in equal distance next is why adsorbent is used in tlc the answer is thin layer chromatography is based on the principle of adsorption chromatography adsorption refer to a phenomenon where a substance accumulates on the surface of another material forming a thin layer this layer is often only one molecule thick next is what are the three adsorbent in tlc the answer is thin layer chromatography is performed on a sheet of an inert substance such as glass plastic or aluminum foil which is coated with a thin layer of adsorbent material usually silica gel aluminum oxide or cellulose this layer of adsorbent is known as stationary phase next is which detector used in tlc for visualizing the answer is uv detector is used in tlc for visualizing next is what are the wavelength used in tlc the answer is two wavelengths are used in tlc for short range 
250 nanometer and for long range 365 nanometer. Next is what is retardation factor in TLC? The answer is it is the ratio between distance travel by the solute and distance travel by the solvent. RF is equal to distance travel by the solute upon distance travel by the solvent. Next is what are the advantage and disadvantage of TLC? The advantage are it is a simple process with short deployment time. The method helps to identify the individual components. The separation process is faster and the selectivity for compounds is higher and the disadvantage is it cannot tell the difference between NNCOMRs and some isomers. And the last question is what are the applications of thin layer chromatography? The answer is to check the purity of the given samples, identification of compounds such as acids, alcohols, proteins, alkaloids, amines, antibiotics and more. To evaluate the reaction process by assessment of intermediates, reaction course and so forth. To purify samples that is for the purification process and to keep a check on the performance of other suppression process.